spring is in the air guys spring is in the air it's that really nice feeling it's that really nice feeling today when uh, things start getting warmer and it's really sunny and there's this freshness in the air I love it I know this is not the real spring yet I know this is temporary the temperatures will drop again in a few days uh, but oh man I am enjoying this day it's 66 degrees right now and it just couldn't feel better outside so what I have for you today is another Dronorama trip and I will tell you exactly why I'm making this trip today and what my goal is but before I do that I really need to show you uh, two shots three shots the first one is this morning when we woke up and looked outside the window this is what we saw I don't know why it's so foggy in the morning I think it's because of the difference in temperatures and this fog is somehow created coming from the lake but it, it makes the whole place look like a horror film you saw yesterday film right you did see yesterday's film it was literally right out of a uh, Diablo computer game or something like that this morning was quite similar and now look at what the weather is at the moment if that doesn't show the difference well then this is the view the other way from our house you have to admit this looks just idyllic So the story is about two years ago this ties back to my where to fly drones.com website again that I mentioned a few days ago I know you guys watched those episodes you did right if you didn't then uh, please do so when I started working on that website I used to go all over the place taking those drone panoramas putting them on that website and first it was really just to discover the possibilities of photo stitching with the drone playing around seeing what can come out of it without any uh, commercial purpose on my mind really but then uh, people started inquiring about those and every now and then we would make a sale a few weeks before Christmas a guy calls us and uh, tells us that he found the photo of um, the lighthouse in Turkey Point which is uh, in Northeast where we live on that where to fly drones.com website uh, this means a lot to him because he's from here and he would like to um, make a print out of that shot and gift it to his daughter for Christmas so that was absolutely awesome uh, not only did we end up making a sale but it made us feel good it made us feel happy that uh, this place is special to somebody and uh, they're gonna get a really nice gift for Christmas that is meaningful to them Uh, why am I talking about this because this is exactly uh, artists life you kind of create something that you feel good about you take a leap of faith without having any guarantee or even outlook on possibly making any income or money on it and then you put it out there and see what happens and in this case it paid off the great idea to start that website I'm definitely going to continue with that website in the meantime today I'm taking a pretty serious risk because this sunset was looking great when I left home and now there's this in front of me which looks nothing like a great sunset actually it looks like gloom again
So honestly, I took a big risk with this today because I had no idea if I was going to get anything good or not. When I left our house, I didn't even know where I was going, to be honest with you. I just wanted to get somewhere pretty before sunset. And it seems like I really failed. <laughs> I mean, this, this, this looked like a cool place on the map. It's a uh, river with uh, some rocks in between and a dam is close to here. But uh, after getting here, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to create any good looking artwork here today. Plus, I'm definitely in the middle of some honky land here. So this doesn't even feel safe. And now some other car is coming. I have no idea why. I should probably just get out of here. This is really ugly footage right now. So just for the record, before I leave this location, which is the weirdest, most creepy location ever, I don't even know what made me come here. Sometimes going by the map only is not a good idea. You have to Google stuff. I did get the drone in the air. And this is what I got. There was literally nothing pretty here. This is a massive fail tonight. Okay, no problem. Tomorrow is the day. We'll fix this. And also, look how dark it is. I'm at ISO 12800. It's the maximum ISO of this camera. Wide open lens and I can barely see myself. This is so crazy. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, that was all yesterday. I don't often shoot footage for the vlog that I'm processing the same day and posting the same day in the morning of that day, but today is an exception because uh, since it didn't happen yesterday, I didn't get anything good. I thought I would redeem myself this morning and I would get a sunrise shot with the drone, another sunrise panorama, but that also didn't happen because the gloom is here to stay for the rest of today and the next few days. All the way through the weekend we are we are not getting any sun until Monday so this is gonna be a difficult few days in terms of weather and coming up with uh, vlog content but to make this episode a little more interesting I have a story for you guys that is drone related and I'm gonna tell it very quickly so I don't take too much time and I think it's an interesting one enough to make this episode a little better. So, two years ago, um, this was exactly on April 8th, 2016, I was in the middle of uh, my morning rides to get those dronoramas done. Every morning, when it, whenever the weather was good, not like today, I would get up for sunrise, go to a specific location, uh, I would drive early enough to be there when the sun starts rising, and I would try to get footage like this. This was uh, particularly in Wilmington, in the city of Wilmington. And I thought I would be getting great stuff from the location that I went to, but it turned out it wasn't that interesting. But looking at the position of the sun and everything around me, I thought I could get maybe some interesting reflection of that morning sun in those two tall buildings that, were, that, that you can see right here. The problem was I flew the drone a little too far behind those buildings without really paying attention to my line of sight. You know, when you fly drones, sometimes you're so uh, focused on the preview of the video that you're getting that you forget to really look up and keep your eyes on the drone and realize, oh, wait a minute, I'm losing the line of sight. This is not supposed to happen. And that happened that particular day. I was just looking at the preview on the phone instead of keeping my eyes on the drone. And all of a sudden I'm getting a message that the signal is lost. Then I looked up and I realized I'm completely behind those buildings. You can see in this video right here when the drone loses signal and it stops. When the drone loses signal, it's programmed to return to its home location. The problem is the drone starts flying home in a very straight line. Yes, exactly. That looks so scary, it's gonna crash! I didn't really see this footage until later. It didn't crash! It didn't crash into this building because luckily Phantom 4 was the first model where they introduced obstacle avoidance that was actually working. So the system was sensitive enough to uh, see that gigantic building in front of it, which made the drone stop, raise itself up above that building and keep flying. 
brilliant, right? It literally saved my butt and saved the day. I did not have insurance for that drone at that time. The drone survived, I didn't cause any damage to anything, I didn't hurt anybody, but it was a scary moment. After the drone flew over the building, I regained the signal and was able to bring it back safely. Even if I didn't, it would just keep going and then land itself exactly where I was standing. So it's a case where the technology actually worked, it did what it was supposed to do, and I was able to avoid an accident. So I'm not telling this story to give you guys any thrills, but in hopes that maybe you can learn from my mistakes and when you fly drones, always make sure you keep the drone in the line of sight. No matter how advanced they are, no matter what technology they have, each model being released is getting better. But still, the best thing you can rely on is your own skill, your own senses and your own common sense. That story shows that when the common sense fails you, accidents are possible. So definitely use this to learn from and don't make the same mistakes I did. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash subscribe. We're coming back tomorrow. Good night. Inquiring about uh, getting those original files from these Fanorama 